Hello, this is Masamaki21, aka Fatboy D, and I'm back with another video update of what's going on with my whole Let's Playing situation and blah blah blah. Um, from all the past updates, no new Let's Plays. PC's not back yet, it hasn't even reached the place yet. It should reach tomorrow to Monday, it should be there. Preferably tomorrow, I would like it to be there. The the person at UPS told me it would be there by Friday, which is tomorrow. So it should be there by tomorrow. They should get it, fix it over the weekend, hopefully, if they don't got any other... Well, obviously, they're going to have other orders to deal with, but hopefully they put mine to the top because I'm special, you know. But anyway, a couple of stuff came in the mail, a couple of uh, accessories for me to wear, and my new Charcoon X-Tactic SP headset now the headset does do what it what it's advertised to do it does work with the Xbox 360 because I just used it playing Halo Reach with my friend and he said it, it I sounded perfect no problems there so there's no microphone static or anything like that the headset is made of a nice material I don't know what the material is but it's nice and maybe suede or I, I don't know what it is but it feels better than the the Turtle Beach ones the, the ear cuffs that cup your ears I like what it's made out of for that headset compared to the one that's made for the, the Turtle Beach headset it's made out of some type of material that feels nice the headset feels nice on your head the mic is uh, detachable so you can take it off if you're not using it to talk so it doesn't get in the way it doesn't fold up like the the Turtle Beach one I know there are some Turtle Beach headsets that do have the detachable mic but the one I have right now does not have that so I thought that was a nice little bonus because when I'm not playing any games or if I'm just using it to listen I can just take the mic out and then when I need to talk I'll put it back in so so it doesn't get messed up um, so I I tried it on a uh, PS3 uh, it didn't work out too well mainly because I don't know how to set it up I just figured out how to set it up on the on the PS3 properly so I was actually planning on trying to to play with it play play a game on uh, PSN and see how it works, but the problem is uh, I don't have many, uh, when I say many, I only have one online, one multiplayer PSN game, PS3 game, and that's Uncharted 2, and I played it, and at the time I didn't have the microphone set up properly, so I couldn't hear any, I, well, I don't think my teammates had mics, but I couldn't use my mic to talk, so it was a little blah for that, so. I stopped playing and then I went to play Halo Reach with my friend. So the thing I wanted to do with this headset was use it simultaneously between PC and console. So that would be PC and PS3 or PC and Xbox 360. Problem is it does not do that. I didn't know it didn't, but now I do. It's uh, USB powered like the Turtle Beach headset that I have, except it doesn't have the microphone jack. So what I what I do with the Turtle Beach, I plug the microphone jack into the PC so that allows me to send my voice through the headset to the PC and then the headset comes with another place where you plug in another jack that's the one that goes into the, the 360 controller the 2.5 millimeter jack that one goes into the the 360 controller and then the other part goes into the headset so you can use it to talk on PC but it's not like I'm playing PC games and 360 games simultaneously I'm doing that to so I can have my voice recorded while I game, while I'm able to listen to my, uh, hear the game and everything, and if I'm playing a game online, I'll be able to chat with everybody without having multiple headsets on my head. So that's the whole reason why I wanted this. I've said this before. And the thing is, this headset does not do that. But I think there might be a way for this to happen. Um, I just need to find a... If if there is one, I don't know if there is a USB splitter. I don't know if that even exists. I need to look it up, take the time to look it up. Basically, what I'm going to do is take the headset, plug the, that part of the USB into the splitter, split it one way between the PS3 and the, the PC, and if that works, then that'll be great because then I'll be able to... I'll, I'll just have to switch back and forth between 360, between the Turtle Beach and those ones to, to use on... Uh, <clears throat> use on different consoles since the Turtle Beach does not work for the the X the the PS3 and these ones uh I 
I guess I can move these ones back and forth. I, I guess that's doable. These ones do feel nice. It's just, uh, at times, I'm fiddling with the volumes. It It's very loud. It, 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 it cancels out noise, so you can't hear anything other than the game or whatever you're listening to or watching. Because I did watch some Shin Chan earlier on Netflix, and I turned it up really high, and I couldn't hear anything. Playing in Halo Reach, I turned it up all the way, and I almost blew my eardrums out. So I, I was really sitting there trying to fiddle with the the microphone portion, the, the the game chat portion of the headset. That part was a little iffy because uh, <clears throat> I don't know if it was my friend's headset or what, but he sounded sort of like he was in a well or something like that. I don't know. Or that just might be Xbox's general, how they how their chat sounds. I don't, I don't know. It just sounded like he was in a toilet. I, I have no idea. But overall, the headset is pretty decent. For the price, it's pretty awesome. For someone who has multiple consoles and doesn't want to shell out like $200 to get a Turtle Beach headset that works for both consoles, this is a good uh, substitute, in my opinion. It was only like $60. It works for both. It's made out of a really mu nice material. It feels good when you wear it. it. It doesn't like squeeze your head. It's not too heavy. The wire is not as long as the Turtle Beach one. So I don't... I don't know if that's a plus or a minus because if you're the type of person who likes to walk around with a headset on, because sometimes I do do that, then then you, you're going to want something longer. But if you're the type of person who gets annoyed when the wire is all over the place tangled up with stuff, like how I do half the time with, with my Turtle Beach headset, because that really upsets me when my headset is unnecessarily long and it's like wrapped around a whole bunch of stuff and then I have to sit and fiddle and untangle it for it to get the proper length that I want. Another plus is the wiring is actually thicker compared to the Turtle Beach. So the, the Turtle Beach headset wires are very thin. So I guess they're easier to damage. I don't I don't know. I mean, mine mine still works, but the wiring for the the Sharkoon headset is a lot thicker. It's just shorter compared to the very short compared to the Turtle Beach. But overall, the headset is pretty decent. I still need to test it out on the PS3, which is what I was trying to do today, but um, just wasn't working. But anyway, let me move on to my next uh, whole, my next, my next segment of this update. Um, what you see on the screen is a picture of the four playable characters that are in the new PSN game, Payday, The Heist, which came out. Uh, Today, I no, not today. It came out Tuesday. Now the game, I downloaded the demo because I wanted to try it out, and I've been having issues with joining, uh, joining games. I haven't. I don't know if it's my connection. Mainly because I'm not using my own connection. I'm stealing internet from somebody else, and uh, sometimes the connection gets a little iffy, and I lose connection, and I'm pretty much fiddling, trying to get stuff to work. So, it's it's not my connection, as I just said, and half the time it dies on me. But I don't know, I don't know if it's if it's the game itself or if it's the PS3. If if it needs like a certain higher caliber of internet connection compared to the 360, because I just sat and played uh, Halo Reach with my friend for like about an hour and a half, and we had no problems, no disconnections or anything. Now when I get on the PS3 and I want to play this game, I'm having issues. I can't join anybody, and uh, it the internet out of nowhere just kicks me off. But the fact isn't I can't join anybody. The fact is I can't find anybody to join. I go to the the lobby, the game lobby, to play with people. Like you, you go to play online, and then there's game setup to set up your own lobby, and then there's play with anyone, which means it'll bring the search list up and show all the people who are playing and you just pick whoever you want to play with from whatever difficulty they pl they're playing on whatever whatever uh, campaign they're on and uh, the game won't let me see anybody at one point it showed somebody's name and I tried to join them it was only one person in the lobby it said one out of four I tried to join and it said the game was full so I'm like what the hell like the whole time I can't find the game and then when a game pops up I can't join it. And then there was one that said three out of four and I tried to join and it said it was full. 
So I don't know if it's my connection. Well, not my connection. I don't know if it's the person's connection I'm stealing or if uh, it's my PS3. Well, if if it's a PS3 problem, I'm, I'm saying if it's a PS3 problem, it would be involved with the connection and the PS3 is just not getting enough internet connection or if it's the game itself because it is the, the trial. And the thing is, I don't want to buy it until I've tried out the the co-op. I've played the game single player like once and I felt it was really nice. It felt it, it was a pretty it was a okay <laughs> Left 4 Dead clone in the sense of I mean it's not full Left 4 Dead, you're not going against zombies or anything, but it's a nice uh co-op four player type thing even though I only played with uh computers. But I liked how the one of the the bank heist that you do, you start off outside, you're, you're just four guys in suits, and then you walk in, and then you put the stuff on, and you're like, everybody down, and you can like order people down on the ground, and I thought that was cool, it, it does the whole uh, Left 4 Dead see-through walls thing, like you'll see your friends, you'll see your, your AI partners through the wall, you see their outline, it'll be green, yellow, red, determining what they're doing or whatever, it shows objectives through the walls as outlines just like in Left 4 Dead, so... It is a it is a Left 4 Dead uh, clone, but not 100%. It's not bad. It, so I I still want to test out the the campaign in co-op. I want I want to try to do a I want to try to do a bank heist in co-op. See how the co-op goes, and then if I feel that it's worth the buy, then I'll put the twenty dollars in to buy it. Cause I was getting ready to just buy it, and then. I'm like, why is the multiplayer not working? So I'm not going to spend money on multiplayer that doesn't work, you know? So, if it's an internet problem, I'm really upset about that. I mean, I played Uncharted earlier, Uncharted 2, I didn't have any problems, so it might be the game. So, if it is the game, I hope they fix it. But anyway, I need to find that, see if I can find a USB splitter. Hopefully it does what I need it to do, because I don't want to buy one and then it doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> and I guess that's it. I just want to let you guys know what was happening. Also, I want to thank all the people who uh, recently followed me or subscribed to me. I said follow. I'm thinking of uh, my casting days. I want to thank all the people who um, followed me. Let me see if I can find your names because I get emails on my phone, so it lets me know who subscribed to my channel. So let's see. There's uh, Flyboy6011. Thank you for subscribing. Um, Larry Dragon1212. Thank you for subscribing. I think you recently commented on one of my videos how you liked my uh, Godfather Let's Play. Thank you. Um, I, I think I replied to you on that. So, once again, thank you for uh, following my channel. There is a. Uh, Isaiah Bloodful, thank you for uh, subscribing. And uh, Flareon1576, thank you for subscribing. Um, Hem309, thank you. There's a Hem309. Um, do -do 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 and I, that's all I can see right now. I got a lot of replies from YouTube, but other than that, I can't see anybody else's name. Oh, here's another one. Mexican Steve, 1646. Uh, thank you for subscribing. And uh, John54421. And that's all I can see. From No, I have another one. Mr. Mike789456. There's <laughs> a lot. Uh... And I think that was the last one. And I don't... Yep, that was the last one. So, if there are anybody else who followed, uh, I'm sorry I didn't say your name. It's just that's all my phone is showing. Uh, so, once again, thanks for subscribing. I will get videos, new uh, Let's Play videos up as soon as possible. I have three Yakuza videos ready to be rendered on my hard drive on my PC, which is not even here right now. So, when I get that back, I'm going to just instantly start rendering again and uh, do more recordings try to do Ka 2 I want to finish that up because I'm really enjoying that let's play and uh, I'm, I think I'm just gonna scrap Dead Island because the the game is really buggy but anyway this has been Masamaki 21 aka Fatboy D 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.